Sin Mendoni Atter Eitem Nessa, Concrecer, you Sporia People often ask me why I decided to apply to be a member of the Welsh Youth Parliament, and to be honest, my answer is simple. I'm concerned. I'm deeply concerned about our generation's addiction to the ocean contaminating, animal murdering and atmospheric polluting material that is plastic. Mankind and marine, marine life are facing their biggest threat to life ever, and there are no signs of this threat retreating. The alarming rate of worldwide production is ever increasing with scientific projections estimating that 25 billion tonnes of plastic will be produced by 2050, with much of that astounding figure ending its journey in our ocean. The first piece of plastic ever produced was back in 1907. That very piece still exists now and will for hundreds of years to come. Our oceans are filled with remarkable and unique species of life, yet we knowingly continue to kill them and their habitats. I hope it's now clear to see this is not a problem that will simply disappear if we forget about it for a while. It's down to us to clean up the mess that has been left by previous generations. It's down to us to spread awareness on this neglected disaster, to ensure large-scale action is taken by industries and governments. To conclude, I'd like to share with you a quote from natural historian Sir David Attenborough, who said, Never before have we had such an awareness of what we're doing to the planet. But never before have we had the power to do something about it. Thank you. Thank you, Kian. Sharad Ornessa, you Evan Fairclough. Next speaker is Evan Fairclough. Thank you, Sharad. I'm Evan Fairclough, and it's a privilege to represent Pontypridd today. Last Friday, 15,000 young people, the length and breadth of Britain, protested to insist that our government take action on climate change. The topic of climate change and the environment will affect every young person in this room today. But our voice on the issue hasn't been taken seriously. I'm 16. By the time I get to 27, the impacts of climate change could have gone so far that they could be irreversible. We, as a youth parliament, must vote for this important environment issue as a significant message to everyone that the environment is crucial to the young people of Wales. There is no issue of greater importance for us as young people than climate change. In fact, this is an emergency. We need to act now. It's incomprehensible that figures like Trump can declare the building of a wall as a national emergency and yet ignore the possible mass extinction event that could be caused by global warming. If we are to truly represent the young people of Wales, then the environment must be our priority. Since watching the Blue Planet 2 series last year, I've been inspired to do as much as I can to help save the environment. Those extraordinary images of helpless animals choking and dying because of our greed made me question the way I live my life. Every year, eight million tons of plastic ends up in our oceans. How can we keep going in the direction that we're going in, knowing full well the effect we're having on the environment? We have to ban single-use plastic now. If I haven't convinced you to vote for this issue yet, just ask yourselves one question. In the future, when you see the terrible effects of climate change around you, how will you look back at your time in this youth parliament? Will you regret not making the environment your number one issue? This is an emergency which is still just about solvable. Let's help do something about it. Together, we must take action now. Thank you, Evan. Good afternoon. I'm hoping to address something that hopefully should be quite clear an issue to you all, the issue of climate change. You only have to look around at the current youth political climate to see what people, young people are demanding. The recent protests all across the country in which 15,000 students took part in and involved over 60 schools is an indication to not only the severity of the issue, but the dire need of its addressed. I would like to read the following statements which are taken from the Welsh Government. The latest comprehensive assessment of the Welsh natural resources shows that overall biological diversity is declining and no ecosystem in Wales can be said to have all the features needed for resilience in the future. The number of reported incidents of oil pollution on and around the coast of Wales has gone from 10 reported incidents in 1973 to 20 reported incidents in recent years. That's an increase of double. 
The number of these incidents involving birds and other wildlife has also increased, increased five-fold in the same amount of time. Wales' ecological footprint is estimated at 10.05 million global hectares. That's five times the actual size of Wales. Need I say more? There are several proactive measures that we can take to move towards as a political body. Firstly, I suggest that we focus on easy and convenient ways that young people from nursery school all the way upwards to university can do their bit for the environment. Awareness is one thing, making physical changes to the way we as young people live our lives on a daily basis through the power of the government will pave the way to a better future, future for us all. Another objective that in our time as Welsh Youth Parliament members we can address is looking at our constituencies as separate entities, addressing what your area is lacking on in terms of environmentally friendly legislation or infrastructure, and then assessing what we can do to tackle those separate issues. I urge you to consider putting matters concerning the environment as one of the top three priorities for the Welsh Youth Parliament to combat. I urge you to give this matter a platform on which it can be spoken about and improved. I urge you to make others realise the severity of this issue I urge you to listen to Greta Thunberg in Sweden and use your voice to challenge the conceptions about the climate and to use your voice for change. I urge you to take control of your future. Thank you. Thank you, Rian. The next speaker is William Hackett. William Hackett. You can stand if you like. Hello, my name is William. I'm 11 years old and I'm here representing Talking Hands, which is a partner organisation. The topic that I've decided to focus on is plastic pollution. I am passionate about this topic for various reasons, the main reason being because it affects humans and animals all over the world. Did you know that Wales was the first nation in the UK to introduce the charge for plastic bags, resulting in 9 billion fewer plastic bags being produced? If we are to stop the devastating effects of plastic pollution, we need to reduce the volume of throwaway plastic being produced in the first place. New powers given to the Welsh Government could mean we see taxes being added to single-use plastic items, such as polystyrene cups and packaging. There are also now more and more schemes within shops and supermarkets, which encourage shoppers to bring in their own reusable containers, rather than buying pre-packaged goods. But we need to do more to make these schemes more commonplace and widely used if we are to make a real change. In the meantime, we also need to look at ways to utilise and reuse the plastic already in circulation in the environment. A scene in which I am particularly interested in is eco-books. Eco-books are environmentally friendly building blocks made out of recycled plastic bottles and soft plastic. This could greatly decrease the amount of plastics in our environment while also providing structurally sound bricks for building various structures. Pollution isn't going to happen in a decade or a year or months. It has already started. I hope Welsh Youth Parliament can make a difference for Wales. Thank you for listening. Thank you, William. Next speaker is Ubadeya Rahman. Um, good afternoon. My name is Ubaida Rahman, and I'm the constitu constituency representative for Swansea West. And the topic that I would like you all to vote for is plastic waste and pollution. Did you know that over the average Welsh consumer's life, they use so much plastic that the environmental damage caused by it is equivalent to burning 1,600 tonnes of oil. And that's just from plastic. Then they go on to litter on half of those plastics everywhere. Not only does this harm the environment, but it harms all life on Earth. Not just animals, not just the sea, us as well. And you may think that single-use plastics are not an overbearing issue because they aren't use that much. But I guarantee you that if you bore me all the food that you had eaten in the last month, 99% of it would use plastic in some way, shape or form. And the worst part is, 68% of all plastics are not even recyclable. When you drink some water out of a bottle, on the label it'll probably have that recyclable logo, and that would mean that it's recyclable, correct? Wrong. That just means that the, lo the label is recyclable. The actual bottle is probably not even recyclable. Um, plastic is a very good thing, but that's only when it's used in moderation. We overuse it and we abuse it to the point where everyone and everything is hurt. And I could bet that 100% of people in this chamber have used plastic day in, day out, and not even thought twice about it. 
And I'll leave you with this. For every time you see plastic or litter plastic, do you even just stop to think how deadly it is? Thank you. That's the last of the formal contributions. Does anybody want to add anything uh, on this issue? Right, I have a few hands. I'll go there first and then I'll come round. Yes. So <clears throat> this is an issue that I also feel strongly about, and I know that Kian touched on the damage it does to the ocean. So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to let you know about a couple of things that people are doing. There's a charity called Surfers Against Sewage. Um, they run lots of campaigns to fight sewage in the ocean, such as plastic waste. But a lot of schools, and I know that uh, at Rest Bay and Perth Call, they have a stand there. They do a beach clean. So a school or a charity will organize a beach clean. Um, if you go to Rest Bay, you will see a stand there where you can take a litter picker and a litter bag. You will go down to the beach. You can pick up as much litter as you can. And I think that they organize a once a month clean there. I know that lots of schools from my local area have started to do that as well, where they take a lot of their students down once a month if they can afford that. If they can't, they maybe go at least once a year. But I think there's something to take back to the, uh, your schools, your constituencies, is the idea of if you're near a beach or if you're in near a town, to send them to do a clean, to try and encourage people to get involved and be as proactive as possible. Many people have already mentioned the horrific impact the plastic can have, but as we're all here to make a difference in Wales, we need to consider if we want other things that aren't plastic to have an impact in the past, how is that going to happen? If the plastic has had such an impact on our planet that we can't live here, there's a comment at the back. Todd mentioned a charity, and there's one called Four Ocean, and I don't know if anybody's heard of them or have seen their bracelets. Um, they are based in America, I believe, and they've only been set up since January 2017. But they've managed to retrieve tons and tons and tons of plastic from our oceans worldwide. I think they've been in Philadelphia or somewhere, the Philippines, I'm not sure, don't quote me. My friend is obsessed with all plastic pollution in the oceans. Um, but honestly, they're amazing. When you buy a bracelet for £16 online, that retrieves so much plastic from the ocean because that allows them to pay their workers and for them to buy boats and everything like that. And so for schools to be doing cleanups, I'm really glad to hear that. And I actually wanted to allow for my school to do that soon. And so now that I know, thank you to Todd, that there are charities working with schools, that's fantastic, and so I'd like to second him in saying get back to your schools and tell them, organise cleanups, take it upon yourselves to help our oceans, because not only the oceans, it will affect us in the long term too. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you touched on the idea of uh, single-use plastic bottles, yeah, my school personally have um, banned single-use plastic bottles, so only water bottles can be brought into schools, and it has worked perfectly, and I think it's a great idea that can go forward in other schools as, uh, as well. There was a hand here. Yes. Yes. Um, I sort of uh, like to propose um, well, a more opposing argument on behalf of some of my constituents in response to the recent climate protest, and that is that the things like local cleanups in schools, banning single-use plastics, are fantastic ideas. But these are things that I'm willing to bet the Welsh Government, the Scottish Parliament and the Parliament in the United Kingdom are already doing. And so if we want to make real changes instead of those, we have to start fighting the President of the United States. We have to start fighting major corporations. And I don't think that that is something the Welsh Youth Parliament has the resources or the ability to battle. And so as much as I think it is a fantastic idea to do these things, perhaps it shouldn't be chosen on a main issue based on those presented points. Okay, yeah, and uh, Kevin, yeah. Yes. To the back. I, I personally then struck for climate change. Um, I did actually go, I went to Manchester and struck for climate change for the day, and I'm very proud of that fact. Um, 
but I feel that a lot of the sense of what everyone was saying there is that people, that corporations need to take far more action than anybody else. And the fact that people are doing cleanups is fantastic, but the fact that we have to do cleanups in the first place is the problem. Like we, the corporations and far, like far more, just even smaller businesses need to try and limit their use, especially of single-use plastic, because the fact that we need to do a cleanup now is a, 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 show, a showing that we have failed as a nation not to keep an eye on plastic and how it's affecting our environment. Next door to you. Um, I want to elaborate on Rian's point of constituencies being independent entities. And in my constituency of Ogmore, like much of Wales, we're blessed by natural beauty. And because of human consumption, we are perhaps inadvertently destroying our natural world. And in my constituency, I'm proud to say that we have one of the most successful recycling systems in Wales. However, the damage from previous littering has left its impact on our local river. And I think that we must work on cleaning up existing litter in our constituencies. Thank you. And I'm going to come here for a comment. Um, just to address the point that it's corporations that are the problem, um, I think that's one reason why we should choose this as a th one of our three main issues. Because if we choose this, we will have the power to take on corporations like that. And I just wanted to point that out. And um, as a um, Welsh Youth Parliament member for Abba Conway, um, Conway are now the first council in um, Britain to only be accepting the black bins. So that is non-recyclable waste once every four weeks. And from my perspective, that's worked really well. And actually, it is doable. And you can only... It is possible to only have your non-recyclable waste um, collected once every month, and I think that's been um, a really good scheme, and it's um, sort of showed that Conway is prepared to take action for plastics. OK, and I'll allow one final comment from the front here yeah. to respond. Uh, I was going to say what you were going to say um, about corporations and businesses. Um, yeah, they, they could do a lot more. I agree with you. I think the thing we need to do is um, make that policy and legislation and law because a lot of them won't do anything, and that's a fact. So we need, to, we need to force them to do it for the future of our planet.